All right, good morning, fifth grade. We are taking a step back from all things fractions for a few moments, diving back into geometry and more shapes in 3D. Get ready for lesson 89. We're all about analyzing prisms. So here is the deal with a prism. The definition is a three-dimensional solid that has two parallel congruent bases. There would be one congruent base, this triangle right here, and this would be another congruent base. So two parallel congruent bases make up a prism. And if I went through the trouble of putting this bold, underlined, italicized, and red, you better believe that's important. Also, if you don't remember the words parallel, that means they would never touch, no matter how far you extend them. And if you're fuzzy on congruent, that means the same size and shape. Walls, that's what bases are, remember? They are walls. So, a handy-dandy reference is right on page 581 of your book. Six types of prisms right now, if it has a pair or two triangular parallel faces, that'd be a triangular prism. If it has two or one pair of parallel rectangular faces, that's a rectangle prism. If the parallel faces are trapezoids, it's a trapezoidal prism. If it has five sides on the parallel congruent faces, it would be a pentagonal prism. Six sides, hexagonal prism. Eight sides, an octagonal prism. And it also goes and tells you how many vertices and how many edges. Remember, vertices are the corner. Edges are the lines. So let's jump right in here. It is asking us which prisms have congruent, same size and shape, rectangular faces. Well, I see a rectangle right here. And he has a congruent mate right across the edge. Right here, I see a rectangular face or a rectangular wall and I'm thinking he's looking pretty congruent to it also so this would be another pair so far we have A and B let's take a look here congruent same size and shape rectangular faces I think right here would be a rectangular face, and just by eyeballing it, this side right here is looking also pretty congruent comparatively, right? And our trickiest one here, here we would have one rectangular face, and you would kind of have to imagine the lines that you don't see, and you'll also find yourself having one more congruent rectangular face. So, how am I actually going to answer this? Well, prism A, prism B, prism C, and prism D. Or, you could also go ahead and write all of them. Okay, let's go and keep moving forward. Which prisms have parallel rectangular faces? Don't go and confuse that for just congruent. They want to know which ones have parallel rectangular faces. So it's not going to necessarily be all of them. Remember, parallel means that they would never, ever touch. So we do have a face here on prism A that I believe would be parallel to that wall, right? Those two walls would never touch. But let's check out our next one over here on prism B. 
We did have rectangular congruent faces on the other problem, but are these two walls parallel? No way, they already touch right now at this edge right here. So we're not going to have parallel rectangular faces in B. Same thing going on here in prism C. Take a look. Do I have any sides here that would actually be parallel? Never touch, no matter how far you would extend the sides. Right now, these two sides aren't touching. But if you extended both sides down, eventually they would, right? Take a look at the top shape. Do I have any of these edges running parallel to each other? If they're not parallel on the face, they won't be parallel anywhere else. Chances are. Let's go over here to prism D. Do I have any that would be parallel? Well, we would have one rectangular face here, right? So remember what we said. If you imagine the inside invisible lines, this side would still be parallel to this side. So when it comes time to have it answer these, which prisms have parallel rectangular faces? The answer is a little bit different this time. Only prism A and prism D have parallel rectangular faces. All right, check out this one. How many perpendicular rectangular faces does this prism have? We talked about it earlier. This face right here is looking like he is perpendicular to this face right here. That word means that they touch and form a right angle, correct? That line right here looks pretty perpendicular, so these two adjoining faces would also have to be perpendicular. So check out this one. This prism has how many pairs of parallel sides? Remember, there are two to make up a pair. So we talked about it earlier again. We have this face right here being parallel to this rectangular face, right? But that's not all we have. We would also have this face at the top being pretty parallel to this face at the bottom. And it's going to be kind of tough to see, but we would also have this right face being perpendicular to the left face, correct? So, kind of looks like an interesting little star design once you all hook it up, but the big thing is how many pairs? We had a pair in the red, a pair in the green, and a pair in the blue, because there are two to a pair. But the big important part is it has three pairs of parallel sides. Check out this guy. Is this shape a prism? Well, if we go back to our original definition of prism, it had to have two parallel congruent bases. So, now that that's refreshed in your memory, is this a prism? Well, you have a rectangular base right here, but do you have another base parallel to it? No, you do not. So, to go back to our question, is this shape a prism? No. And the reason it's no it doesn't have two parallel congruent bases. Check out this one. All prisms must have how many pair of parallel faces? Well, kind of ties into what we just got done talking about. 
how many pair does it have? It would only have one pair. It has two parallel congruent faces, but there's only two making up one pair. Check out this one. This prism has how many edges? Well, you'd have a couple of different ways of going about this problem. Remember, edges means lines. Whether you can see them or whether they're implied with the dotted lines. So you could go and start counting one line or edge. Two edges. Three edges four edges, and so on, and you could keep on counting and count some more. But a really smart kid would remember that on page 581 of our book, it tells us how many vertices and how many edges. So let's go ahead and identify. This looks like he has six sides on each face, right? So Six sides on a face, that would be our friend the hexagonal prism. He has 12 vertices and 18 edges. So I wouldn't go through the trouble of counting all 18 of those lines. I would just remember that on page 581, it's going to give us the resources we need. So it has 18 edges. So that, my friend, is the end of this lesson. Remember, when you're tackling the Socrative quiz today, you're definitely going to want your book out and open up to page 581. Good luck.